Welcome back to my Fractures of Time Chronobot run through. Let's carry on, shall we? So I've done clean up and I've done preparation for era two. Um, I've done the paradox rolls where I managed to roll two, uh, one more paradox, and therefore I got an uh, anomaly straight off. But that means I did have to get, to get take this off. He rolled no anomalies, uh, no paradoxes. So we are. Uh, into power up, I've decided to power up four. I've paid for my one there, uh, mainly because I have no flux left at the moment to do blinking. He powered up four, so uh, actually I'll do one real and two blank. And what happens is that these blanks now just go back in the bag. So we are ready for the warping phase. What do we want to warp in? So I think because I've got no flux left, I could go to the flux board to get that actually. Um, I prefer not to have to pay that off in the future. But, actually I have no Neutronium left, and I would look quite like Neutronium. I'm going to go for Neutronium. Let's pop that in, one of those. Um, I do need to build this, but I've got enough for that at the moment. So, what is he going to bring along with him? He's going to get one. So, let's put one of his tokens on there. Okay, so we're going to go straight into the action round. Mr. Chronosus, what do you do? Number four. Back on the four loop, eh? So let's try and get that four token out there. Move down there. So he's going to do one flux and one EC. So he gets a one flux and one energy core. Energy core goes in the red bag. Flux goes in the purple bag. And that's it. There's no suit required for that. So he doesn't do anything else. My first action. Now I want to get this building built ready because then I'm ready to do. I've basically reached my evacuation condition really quite quickly, which is nice. I do need to start upgrading these though, so I do need to think about breakthroughs. I might, having considered it, give up on trying that one. I would like to go for this one, but I've got the wrong shape and symbol really, for got the wrong symbol for that. So I might use my breakthrough that I got to do an upgrade here, and then I can at least also show you what I'm gonna do with that. But you'll notice I've got no awake workers. Didn't plan that too well. So I'm going to have to force them to wake up with my morale back. I've got a nice supply of workers, but they were all fast asleep. So they are now nicely awake, ready to do something. So the first thing I might do, I think, is recruit a, a genius so I can get some more work crew. Now, one thing to note is that if I send an operator here, um, if I uh, want to recruit a genius, uh, I can't recruit a genius because he acts as, basically, he gets that restriction but I can send him if I want to, or I could send an administrator at no cost. I think I would prefer to send my administrator, to be honest. So I think I will do that. I'm going to send him. Um, although, actually, think about it, I'm going to send my operator because he doesn't have to roll for blinking. Okay, so I'm going to recruit. Oh no, I can't send him because I can't get the genius I want. That's why. So I do want to send my administrator there we go, I'll get him. And I've got two energy cores. I think I will get another energy core. I tend to get energy cores when I hire people. And he's nicely awake. So, Chronobot, what do you do? Um, sorry, that's in shadow, it's not hard to, easy to see. Uh, he does a five, so, oh, it's the first five as well. No, no, it's the, first, it's the third five of it. So he's gonna do a recruit. This comes around to here. No, green, green track, there. So he's doing a recruit action, so. What I'll do, as I should have done to begin with, these won't be probably these in the final version. They'll probably have their own special tokens to put in. But that's there in there to remind me that whether they blinked. So a recruit action. So he's going to go here. Um, he, he's going to recruit. He's got uh, a genius. He would like a administrator, but there isn't one, so he's going to get an engineer. So there we go. He gets his engineer, and he gets the one victory point, because why not? And then that's that's five bits, so he's going to change it in for a five token. That's his turn. Now I have no cause to blink yet, so I think it's time to do some uh, going over to do some uh, getting some of those. Who do I want to send? I think I might send a scientist so I can get a flux as well. Get three flux then, 
which will be quite nice. I have a spare scientist, so let's send my scientist into here. I get three flocks. Very nice. Let's put that on top there. There we go. That is it for my turn for now. Uh, what is he going to do? Whoops. It's a three, so he's going to remove an anomaly. He doesn't have an anomaly, and he doesn't have any. Well, he does have resources to pay, but he hasn't got an anomaly, so he doesn't do anything. That's a failed action. Um, it also doesn't cost an exosuit because it's not a board action. Therefore, he just gets one VP as recompense. Now, I think it might be because I haven't woken people up with water. I've got spare water. Yeah, I might show you this. So I'm going to send this guy over to here. So this is. It has to be a, an operator, and I have to pay two water. So I'll just do that. I'll get three change from the bank. And then with my not so useful breakthrough, I place it on here, I slide it right. And that's unlocked one VIP as well. And I now have six spare spaces, which is very nice for me. Uh, and also that's an extra three points because I've moved it as well. So let's see. That was my action. So let's see what Chronosis does. He wants a four. Four is the blue track. Goes along there. So he's going to do mine resources. So he will now he can send this guy possibly over here. So he will check. Let's get the red bag out of the way. It's the purple bag. And he did put one real flux in here. It's a blank. So he does not blink. He's going to send a real guy up to the mines. Um, he's got these two. He wants gold and titanium. So I think he's going to take uh, which way around to do it. Gold and titanium. Look at that. He's got all four. Gives him five BP. So he gets a five chip. And I do tend to find he does get a lot of his points from VP chips quite often. Um, the buildings give him a lot of points, but the VIPs do add up. So over to me. Um, I think I want to build this building, especially because there's one here that gets me a genius. If I use an administrator and the administrator comes like awake, this one also, um, this allows me to wake them up without paying for them. Uh, but I would like to get the morale for that, so I might just get that one. So I've got the resources. I have the neutronium, not the neutronium, I have the um, uranium and the titanium and the water. Um, I could blink one of my guys there. So I can't blink this guy because he can't go out of the out of that valley. But I can blink this guy to, to the building spot. So I think I will do that. Pop him in there. One, two, three, four, five. So he's not an operator, so I have to roll. Uh, where's the flux? There it is. And it's a two, so that's safe. I don't have to take the flame, uh, the glitch rather. And he can jump over to here. He comes out. Uh, he, oh no, I can't send him actually, look, because I can't go to the building spot with an administrator. Silly me. So, do I want to do something else? No, I've just blinked. I think I'll have to undo that, because that was a, an illegal move. I'll have to send a guy, I'll send an engineer in a suit to do the job for me. Uh, and indeed I had to send an engineer because I haven't got the resources to build that anyway, because I need the discount for that one. So I am going to build this administration, uh, not administration building, one of these ones called labs. I'm going to build this lab, so that costs me one uranium, discount of one for my engineer, titanium and one water. Then you go back to the supply, and, nope, I've got it, there we go, building there. Uh, this is annoying, this, I've realised that's not a building at all, that's an anomaly, so that doesn't count for that. I'm going to have to get rid of this at some point. Um, I might do that soon because I have a neutronium I can spend to get rid of it. Just have to decide who I want to kill off to do that. Anyway, that's my turn. Over to the Chronosis. He's doing a four. So, construct lab. So, to construct, uh, he can blink either of those guys into there. So, let's see what he does from the mystery bag. It's real, so he does, he does a blink. So which one does he want to move? Does he is he more likely to do 
a recruit or a mine next turn. There's a recruit there. That's not a board action. That's a valley action, which is no contention. That's a construct, which he's not on. So it's going to be a recruit. I think so. He's going to move. Uh, sorry, his one. This one. And he also construct a lab. So he's going to go here. This guy comes out. And the labs, of the labs available, they're both worth two, so he'll take from the secondary stack if there's a choice. It's a second of those three buildings. So in my turn, I am going to, with one suit left, but I can still blink if I wanted to do something else. Um, I'm tempted to do this again, actually, because that's worth a lot of points, but I do need to get this building built. So let's say I'm going to sacrifice my, in, my uh, scientist here. So I spend one Neutronium, one scientist, get rid of that tile. So goodbye scientist, and goodbye anomaly. I send her into the anomalous future. That's my action, so Chronosus does a four again. He wants to recruit a genius. There are no geniuses. So he can't do the recruit genius, he does the fallback option, which is research. So he's going to go to here. So let's see if he blinks. Because he has one worker that he could move. Come on, mystery bag. I don't think there are any left. Actually, no, it's a blank. So he places a real one. The recruit spot. That guy doesn't come out yet because he hasn't moved him. And he only rolls for sure. He cares about a circle. It's a circle. There we go. He has two circles now. So he's building up for his super project. On to my turn. Um, I think, what shall I do? If I have enough flux, um, I think I might want to get an upgrade. See this upgrade here? This allows me to get an extra um, exosuit bay, which would be very handy for the second half of the game. Let's go for that, shall we? So this is going to cost me two water, which I have, and it will cost me two uranium or gold, but if I send scientist it's a discount however I just killed off my scientist but I can send my genius so I think I'm gonna to have to do this which is annoying because I can't blink these out of this board but I'm gonna send my genius as a scientist and get a discount so I'm gonna pay one gold two water and this is a specific cost for this card this one here obviously is a bonus this is actually a cost so I'm gonna get this upgrade this goes somewhere by my player map, I'll put it down there. And this is an ongoing ability, there's no VPs at the end of the game for this. But I do get this, so I get this blank tile here, which adds into my board there. So I now have an extra space, I can power up four at the moment, in the next era. And when those two get covered, I can then, I still have two at least, I can power up if I want to. Not too bad. Okay, let's see what this does. He's got a four. He's on a construction frenzy. He also constructs a factory. So he can move either of these guys up to the World Council to do the construct action. Um, he's not going to blink though, because I know for a fact that this is a blink. So he's not going to do that. He's going to send his last guy up to there. First, oh no, he doesn't take the guy up because he hasn't blinked it. So he's done that. And he's constructing a factory. What do we have in the way of factories? They're both two, he therefore takes this one for the stack. That's a bit annoying, that, was th that one gives you two flux for an odd operator. That would have been nice to have, but it wasn't to be. So there we go, that's his turn. Right, I've got no exosuits left. I also have no resources left. I need to blink someone into here. That's what I'm going to do. Send him here. And I will roll the die. To be fair, it's a four. I have five spaces, I don't get a flame. The local flames, they're called glitches. I will keep re repeating that error. So I'm going to blink the engineer because he will come back awake. I know I have two awake engineers there. And I will get, look at all that new tr uh, that uh, uranium is nice, isn't it? Um, I could get two uranium. It's very tempting. But I think because this building requires a gold, I'm actually going to get a gold instead, because I'm going to have to pay one of these to send one back if I want to do a time travel in the future. Okay, so that's my turn. 
Uh, so the bot now has no tokens left in his bag. He has no exosuits left to place, so he's going to pass. I, however, still have actions I can do. I can still blink if I want to. I have this guy here. I can't blink him to here because he can't. Uh, administrators can't go in here. But I could blink him to a construction spot, but I can't afford to build anything. I could blink him to a, over to here to the mines. Not very useful at the moment. I could blink him into here and get another operator. It cost me one water to do so. Um, or I could spend my gold I just bought to get water, but I, I am low on water, actually. So I can't go here because I haven't got the water for it. So I think that's probably my best plan. Um, I could go here as well, but I've got the water. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do that. So engineer goes there. Spend the gold I just got. And I'll get my five water. Here we are. And my one victory point. Got about this part still, so over to me. I will now, I think I'll do this one now. So I can send him. It'll cost me two water. I get three change. Here we are. That's right, yeah. So he's acting as an administrator, and I get to a genius. So in comes a genius. Do they wait, Colin? Is there anything else I want to do? I could do this to either um, to remove the flux. I could remove the flux. That's quite nice. Remove the flame. I have one flame here. I'm not too concerned about that just yet. Or I could do uh, this uh, board expansion, but I can't because I haven't got any breakthroughs. So, with that in mind. I think I will use, uh, um, so I'm going to send this guy, this genius, as a scientist, and I will do the remove flux from my track. There we go, freed it up now. So I cannot get a glitch at the moment with that. Is there anything else I can do? I can't, I still can't afford to build anything, so I can't blink this guy anywhere, unless I put him in the mine. That's actually not too bad an idea, actually. I think I'll do that actually, yeah. I'm going to spend that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no point rolling the die because I can't fail that. This guy comes over to the mine, he goes to the sleep column, and there is just one of those. And I'm going to get a titanium because I know I'm going to need one to build that building next round. This guy has got nothing to do because I can't put him anywhere. There's no point going back in time because I can't build anything or pay anything off. So I pass. And I will now do clean up and set up for the next round. So here we are now ready to start era three. I've done uh, the first four phases, so I've done everything up to the warp. Uh, what's happened here is that in the paradox roll, um, the bot actually got an anomaly. Um, and we have warped in just one each. I've warped in a flux because I only have one left, and because I'm only powering up three exosuits because of my free space there, and I wanted three water, which I'll show you why in a minute. And the bot has powered up, he powered up three, and then he drew two energy cores, so he's got two more, he's got five this round. So we'll see how they do. So let's pop some of the operator guys in here to remind me whether they've blinked or not. Sorry, you can't see that, so there we go. I'll have the camera up a bit better. There we are. So he's still first player. Let's see what it is. Two. So it's a, it's a rare occurrence of a two. So he's going to do one flux and one EC. He doesn't need to spend an exosuit. So he takes the flux into the flux bag. There we go. And the energy core into the energy bag. He loves that pairing up. Then it is my turn. So I've got. Only two people awake at the moment, and this is the reason I have six water here now, because I'm going to use, um, I might actually use him because he'll come back awake next turn, he's acting as an administrator. So I'll do him, I'll pay my five water that I need there, not six water, five water, two, three, four, and five, and wake everybody up, and wakey wakey. Plenty to do today. There we go. And they're all happily awake now, nicely watered. Colossus, 
what's he going to do? He's rolled two. Again, so two goes along the red track. He's going to mine some resources. So off he goes to mine. And what does he want? He's got nothing. So uh, there's no neutronium. So he wants uranium and gold. And he'll do that and that, I think. Put that choice. Here we go. Uh, now I have a lot of people. Um, I don't have my neutronium to pay off for last round. And I can't get it. So I can't pay that off at the moment, which is annoying. Um, so I'm going to go start aiming for this building. Now I spent my gold that I picked up just for this last round. So I'm going to have to go and get some. So Mr. Engineer is going to go off into the wilds. He's going to get some gold for me, and he's going to get some titanium. There we go. Okay, Chronosis, he has rolled a three. He's going to build a life support. So he might blink, but I have to know there are no blink tokens in here, but he has to draw anyway, so he drawn a blank. So he places a real guy. He's going to do a construction, and he's going to construct life support. So let's see. Both worth two, he takes from the secondary stack. Now that's, that's another new updated tile. Free action for two water, but once when you take it, you get to remove a flux or a, uh, they're not called flames. Remind me what they're called, internet. Glitches, there we go. And over to me. Now I could blink across. What I really want to do is I want to get I've got enough. Oh yes, I don't think I paid my energy call last round, so that's what I was going to do there. Um, I might blink in and get another operator. That would be quite fun to do. Let's do that. Yep. Spend one of those. I'm going to send this guy into here to get one of these guys. He comes in awake. He comes in back asleep. Colossus. He has rolled three, so he's going to do some time travel. Um, so he takes from the Elder's area if it's tied, so he takes that one. And he's done some time travel. Me, I really want to build this building, so I need to get that done. Let's send my uh, engineer to do that. I have to pay a water, so that's handy I had that water. And he's going to build a factory. Now which factory do I want? I have a factory that will generate me energy cores or one that will generate me gold. I'm not too worried about energy cores at the moment because the flux sideboard does give me a lot if I want it. So I'm going to get this one which is one water for two gold which is not too bad at all. So I get a discount for titanium. So titanium and gold. I've got all of those. I'm ready to evacuate whenever I want to. So I'll put that there. Put that there. So now I think my mission is to do this bit so that when I evacuate I'm going to score big on this. So that's me done. Let's do the bot's turn. He rolls a four. He's going to get one flux of money. See, yet again, he's going to be powering up exosuits till the end of time at this rate. So there we are. He now has a real flux as well. So we've got two with now, I think. Now, uh, my turn. I have one suit left, but that's okay. I think what I'm going to do as my first action actually is this. Oh, I was very naughty and I didn't roll the dice last time. Let me do that now. I get a five, it's a three, so I wouldn't have got a flame. But if I had rolled a five, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But just for completeness, I've done that. So I'm going to place, place this guy in and he lets me remove two of the canisters from there. So, Quinatus, what are you going to do? He's going to do two. Construct power plant. Uh, so he can't. Let's fill up. So he would have to go to the world council. So he might blink that guy into the world council. Let's have a look. No, he doesn't. He places a real suit. So he's going to place up there. Yet again, blocking first player for me. A bit annoyed by that. But he's going to build a uh, power plant. So let's see what we've got. That's the most VP. He'll take that one. It's his second power plant. So he's got two of all the buildings now. Um, and what's good for me to do now? I want to get a breakthrough for doing this, don't I? So I will send my scientist. I will send her in my suit, I think. Or will I send my harvester? There's a question. Not my harvester, my um, operator. 
because then I don't have a roll to blink. But my track is empty, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll send my, my scientist. So I am going to... Now I need a different symbol to this to place on here, so I can't have that. So I'm going to set... Let's say that one. Let's say the, the, the family one. And I just roll, and I get a triangle. So a triangle with a family. Oh, look! There happens to be one on the top. That's handy. So that gets my supply. And Chronosus takes a four. Mine resources. He really has a guy in my resources, but he might send this guy. So let's see. I'll draw out. No, it's blank again. So both of them in there are, the, are uh, real flux tokens, but he's going to place this one because he wants to mine. He'll go here. And he needs neutronium. He hasn't, there's no neutronium. He needs titanium. So I'll take the titanium, and then the next most valuable to him is neutronium. So, um, uranium. Place that there. He just needs neutronium to get another five. I don't want him doing that. So I've run out of suits to spend. So it's time to either do a blink or do one of my board actions here. Now I have no water. So I can't do that. I have no gold, so I can't do that. Um, I have no water, so I can't do that. So I think water is, a, is, is needed at the moment. And I do have a scientist in a suit, so I will actually, I think, blink my scientist. So I'll go in down there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no point in rolling the flux die because I can't get a glitch. Blink. He blinks over there, comes out. Looks very tired. And I'll get four water from that spot. So we get one, two, and a three and a four. Oh, come on, pick them up. There we go. Four water into my supply. What is Mr. Chronobot going to do? He's got three. Oh, he does a valley right. So, Valley Right, this is not great for me because he gets two flux and two energy cores for that. But let's see if he's going to blink someone in and we know the answer to this. Yes, he does. Who is he going to blink? That is the question. So, he's got a person in the construction and a person in the mines. What's the likelihood of his next action? He's got a construct, he's got a construct, he's got a research, and he's got a Valley action. So, he has no one in research, so it doesn't really matter. Everyone else is in construct, so he's going to take one from the construction to free it up, hopefully for him to use next time. So he blinks him into the valley. Out comes Mr. Harvest, where it goes away. And he gets two flux and two energy cores. He is powering up that energy of his. Everything here now is flux, I think. That's dangerous. We need a lot of energy as well. So my next plan, now I have water, is I can send this guy to here, or I could send my genius to here and do it. Mm, that is actually a nice idea, is I have two geniuses. I'm going to do this action, so I don't have to pay my water now. I place my token here, which is only has to be a different icon, it doesn't have to be a, this, a different shape. Slide it that way, and I have three VP, plus I've got an extra three from that, so I've now made six from that and four from that, that's worth ten points so far. That's going nicely for me. Okay, this comes along, he's got a four. He wants to construct a lab, so he did indeed free up that space that he can place that in. Is he going to blink one of his mine guys to do it? And we know the answer to that because these are all real. He's going to blink, doesn't really matter which of those, into there, goes away, and he's going to construct a lab. Let's see, they're both worth two, so he takes from the secondary stack. He is now full of labs. If he rolls lab again, he will just get the 1vp failed action. And over here, for me, I now have water. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to send my... I might want him to do that, actually. That's quite tempting to do that, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to send him there for one water. Or is it a woman? I think it's a woman actually in there. And then I get two gold for that. And then next turn I can turn that gold back into more water and points. It's quite nice, a little engine. So I have a five. Sorry, he has a five. It's a valley left. And I think it's the first valley left he's had. Uh, so first of all, we know he's going to blink. So I'm just going to take, take that blink to that flux token out. So he's blinking this guy into the valley. He goes away. 
So what he does, which is different to a human player, to determine what he's going to do, he'll either take harvester, uh, operator, or an upgrade. He's going to roll the one of the research die. He gets a triangle. So on a circle, he would recruit a harvester and get a flux. On a triangle, he takes an upgrade. And on a square, he recruits a harvester and a flux or an upgrade, depending on which he has least of. So he rolled a triangle, so he's going to take an upgrade. And the upgrade he takes is irrelevant. It's, uh, no matter which one, but he always takes the secondary stack. Um, so he's going to take that. That is going to be worth three points from the end of the game, because all cards he takes are worth three. I'll just put that face down. It doesn't matter what's on the front of it. That was a good turn for him. So I think if I'm going to use my, operator, my guy for that, I'll do that, I think, yes. Pay two water, and I get a genius comes along. I assume he comes in awake. It doesn't specify that he comes awake, but I assume that's what he does. I now roll for the bot. He gets a constructor super project. Now, he does have breakthrough. He discards breakthrough. Doesn't matter which one. Um, and he's going to construct a super project. Now, he will take the one worth most points. There's an 8VP one there. He takes that, pops it into his super project slot. Eight points, just like that. Not putting well for me here. So I think, what have I got left? I have no flux. Um, I've got um, an operator who can't really do anything of use because I haven't got any neutronium to go back in time. But I can convert the gold into points, so I'll do that. I'll put my genius there. Uh, will I put my genius there? Um, yes, I will. I'll show you why in a second. So, I have to spend a gold for that. Gold goes away. I get five water. And I get a point. Uh, where are the points are they are. So, he still has guys left, so let's see what he does. Oh, when I did a construct super project, I was all over eager. He actually has to place to do that. He has to do a build. Uh, and he can't move any because they're all oh, come out because they haven't blinked. So actually, he yeah he placed that last time. But this time he has rolled a four, which is to recruit genius. He might blink that guy to do the recruit. So let's see, he does. So he blinks him into the recruit spot. Goes away, and he's going to recruit. And uh, he wants an administrator, but there isn't one. So he's just going to take the scientist. And he gets, oh no, I'm being silly, it's not a main recruit. He's recruiting a genius, regardless. So, he takes the genius, stacks him up. Um, and of course he gets one point as well, if I'm recruiting a genius. That's him done. So here's what I wanted to do, is I'm going to place here, show you what this does again. So I have to pay two water, and that's two from the water I just got, which is rather handy, so I get three change. From the water fountain there. Place them in there. I get to remove up to two flames. I only have one. I have to remove that one. They're minus two at the end, so they're worth getting off if I can. He's still going. He's rolled a three. He's rolled remove anomaly. Of course he has. So to remove anomaly, he needs to spend two. So he either spends one neutronium or two of any other resources. Uh, he doesn't have to pay the water cost. So he's got two of that lot, so he'll take that, and then he'll take the least valuable and spend that. And he's got rid of his anomaly, which is quite nice for him. I am out of people. So the only things left that I could do is to... There's a free action here, but I have no breakthroughs. There's a free action here, but I haven't got to flux to place. So that's it for my, t my, uh, my round. I am going to pass. He can still carry on, because... Um, or actually, you can't know. He's got no people to move. He has got no suits. So, in fact, and he's got nothing left in his flux bag either. So, he is not going to do anything. He will pass as well. So, I'm going to do clean up for the end of the round, and we'll come into era four in a minute. But remembering that this is now, this is impact. So, it comes a lot quicker in the fractures of time. So, I'll do the impact, say it changes, and I'll set up for the next era. 
so here we are in era four all set up um i've done everything up to power up i just wanted to go through something quickly that i forgot um i upgraded this twice using this action i didn't get my two vp each time i did that so i've added my vp for that so i've done all of this i've got another anomaly uh the bot's got another paradox i powered up three suits because i wanted the water the bot has powered up four because he's cheeky he didn't actually draw three energy cores from the bag but he only draws a max uh, powers up a maximum of four in this era so we're going to decide what we want to warp in now so i decided i wanted to warp in another uh, flux because i haven't got any left that's the token i decided to take back with my anomaly um power uh he is going to roll he's going to take he's going to place one he places one as well and then we can start it's his turn it's his first player still he rolls five construct power plant oh i haven't got my little dudes in his exosuits there we go let's put the little operators in there to remind me that they're powered so he's doing construct power plant now oh, this is the other thing i wanted to mention before we actually start playing i've got the um collapsing city tiles here but you'll notice there are some more on top here and what you do is there are six new ones in the expansion and for two players you shuffle those up all up and you deal two out randomly and then place them in their respective spots from top to bottom so we've got an extra one here so here we've got gain and operator and here we have remover flux and movie board up that's nice for me i might just have to do that but he is going to construct a power plant so he always goes to the top spot he takes that discount that would have been nice there we go and he's going to take this power plant because it's most vps he's now fill up on power plants as well so he's got three power plants three of the labs so i think i don't really want that to go to waste so i think i'm going to do that straight away i was going to wake up my workers but i'll do that in a minute i'm going to send my guy here so he's going to get to remove flux and move the board up so that goes that goes away very nice and clear and i get to move this up which has basically made me two plus three five more points i like it i also get to do the research as well so i might be able to get a third one on here um so i want doesn't matter about the shape but i want a different symbol i'm going to go for the double helix oh, for the shape it's a square square double helix See if I can find one. Look, there we go. Straight in there. Uh, let's put that there. Just remind me what I'm doing. And I've got rolls. It's a three. Beep, beep, beep. Construct a life support. So he can't blink that one, so he's not going to do a blink. So he's going to have to place one. And he's taken the other bonus, which is really annoying. So he constructs a life support. Uh, they're both equal. He's going to take that one. That's a nice tile I could get there. That's about eight water. That's pretty nice. So that's his third um, water building. Over to me. Uh, I have no workers left, so I'm going to have to wake them up. So I've got the six water I need to do that. I'll do that. Let me put that six water into the supply. There we go. And my what impressively large workforce comes back to work after a bit of a snooze. Welcome back, fellows. What's the bot going to do? He's going to do two. Two, I think, is hit on the other fire, won't it? Is. There we go. So he's going to do a research action. So research is here. Uh, he can blink either of those guys in, so he's going to check for a blink. I think he might have some flux left, but he's not, he's not going to blink. So he's going to place which is long as a bonus goes again so he goes in here he's going to do his research he gets a circle he keeps getting circles at the moment so now i have a nice workforce um i do want to pay off this neutronium so i think i better go to the mines to get that neutronium to pay off so um i do have one card i'm not going to blink it just yet so here we go, I'm going to take Neutronium and see I've got this 
which will be useful for the time travel. Gold for that, and I've got reason we wanted him. I'll get titanium as well, because that will be useful. So, over there. Um, I suppose these should technically go on the spots they're taking from the right hand side. But there we go. Uh, so, that's all I need to do for me. I'll give it to the bot, and that's he's rolled a four. He's going to construct a factory. It is going to be, he has got space for a factory. Let's see if he blinks to do that. No, he doesn't. He places his last dude. And where is. Uh, he's going to have to go here. He's constructing a factory, so he's going to take the 3 VP one, of course. And he's now chock a block. He's got all his buildings are full, he can't get any more in. But he can get more, worryingly, some more super projects. So I think it might be time to do this one. Although I can do that really at any point, but I haven't got the water for it. So the first order of business is to get the water, I think. I have lots of geniuses. I'll pop that there, I'll pay my gold. I get my five water and my VIP for that. He is going to roll. He's done four again, he gets a flux and an energy core. So his flux goes in his bag, shake that up. Energy core goes in there, shake it up. Notice he's got no um, exosuits left, he's deployed all four of them now, but he might still blink, especially as he's just put other flux in there. Okay. I have the water to do this, but I don't need to worry about that quite yet. I have a lot of resources, which I would be... I was going to do this, wasn't I? Yeah, that's that's my plan, I think. So I'll send my genius to do that. Um, I need to go back two eras, so I'm going to have to be two resources, which is going to be my two uranium. That gets me two points for doing that. Then I move my focus back two. I'm going to pay off my neutronium move up on that, which is affected two more points, so that was quite a nice turn for me. Four. He's going to do another four, is he? Mine resources. He likes those resources, so let's see if he actually manages to do this. Oh, he does. A lucky, lucky person. So which one is he going to do? He needs to possibly free up some space, so potentially next he's going to do construct, so he might want to move uh, one of those guys off. Research, you might want to move this guy off. Recruit, there's no one on recruit, just doesn't care. Time travel isn't a board action. So when there's a tie, so he can do construct or research, it's the lowest numbered tile, so it's the four, the construct. So he's going to move one of these, he'll move the top one always if he can. And this tile gets flipped over, that's no longer available. He's blinked that guy. And what does he need? He wants neutronium, but he, there's none left because I took it. <laughs> so he takes titanium that he wants, and from this side he takes the uranium. So they go on his track. Uh, what's next for me? So I have the water, I can do that in a minute. I have one more suit if I want to go and do something. Uh, the only useful thing right here is to... That would be quite nice to do. Yeah. So I can't send my genius, sorry, not, I, I can send my genius, but I can't send my um, engineer because I want to get the genius. So I'm going to send, uh, I will send my genius acting as an administrator to go here, which gets me this, and there. And also I get my bonus of an operator as well. And which of these bonuses shall I have? I have enough water. I only have one energy core. I'm going to power up all my suits next round. Let's take an energy core. Also because I've seen there's this upgrade which gives you a point for every energy core you have left. And extra water, but that's not really a huge thing. But that might be quite nice if I can go for that. So the bot, he's got a three. Um, there we are, he does time travel. He can indeed do time travel because he has a token, made two points. So all I can do now, I've got all these workers and one flux. 
It might be time to blink to get some more flocks. What do you think? I think that might be quite nice. Let's do that. Bloop. And I'm going to blink my harvester. Do that because then he'll come back awake. And I will get... Here we've got two and I will do three. I'll get three because I've got more blinking. There we go. And my, my camera battery is running low. So I will pause here and see how long I can go on for. So my battery is now recharged. Let's uh, carry on. I've just finished my turn there. It's over to the bot. Let's see what he does. So he's got a five. So he wants to do a research. Now he has run out of exosuits. So I'm going to have to see if he can blink. He wants to go to a research space. What oh, we got in the bag? It's the blank. Oop. I think that is everything there. So he's no exosuits. He can't blink. He passes. And because he didn't do that action, actually that will go back to there because he won't do that. Um, I'm out of exosuits as well, but I do have lots of nice flux that I could blink around with. So is there anything I want to do? So while I'm now I'm not too concerned about what's going on up here on the main board, I'm going to make use of doing this action now. So I'll place him here, I'll pay my two water, three in return, from there, I can move this up, I pay my third shape, my third icon, and I get two points, don't forget that this time, oh look, let's change these up shall we, and a five, so I've got 13 there. So I'm now fully upgraded here. That means I'm maximum here. So now will be an opportune time for me to do my evac. Um, so I've got I've got this guy here and this guy here who can move. Uh, it doesn't really, really matter which. I'm going to place flux down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No point in wanting the flux die. I will move up here because at least I can flip this. Now, because there are two on here, this one just gets removed. That's there for next round. That goes away. So I'm going to evacuate. Uh, I don't really need to listen to player in Nursery and Solo. I will place my token there to indicate I've done this. And I can evacuate. I've got one of each building. It's me four. And I have upgraded this four times. That gives me 12. 4 and 12, 16 points. 10, 15, 16. Not bad. So let's see what what does. Sorry, he's passed. What am I doing? He's passed already. I'm doing more of my actions, which is more fun. Now I would quite like to go and get another upgrade because uh, that is worth a few more points. This point. Um, I do have two of these two titanium so I could build something else. I wonder what I shall do. I could come and get rid of these actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to do that action. I'll turn my scientist. I shall move those from the track. Um, I might do this little combo here now as well. So I'm going to do... Who shall I send? My engineer there. He's going to go spend one water to get two gold. And I'm going to do my genius there, spend two water. My last two water. Oh, now, do I want to do that? Do I want genius? I've got enough now. I could do this. That would be quite nice. Or I could get rid of this. This is very tempting, I think. No, I'm going to. Yeah, let's go for the points while I can. So I want to try and blink into the build. Um, these are stuck, so these are new, so I'm going to have to blink into here, which costs me a water. Oh, I only have two water, which means I need one more to do that. Um, I can't blink anyone up to that place. Oh, look, he should have had his guy take an hour out of that. So I can't do the water just yet, so I can't do that. I can do this, though, so I may as well do this while I can. So I'm going to send this guy. Plenty of overseers. Uh, I'll spend one gold and one 
15. And two water. That's two water. Goes away, and I get to remove this. That's all right, I get that back. That goes away, he goes in the box. So I can't do this now because I'm with the water, so that's not really a problem. Um, I can still blink though. I could blink to recruit. That would get me a point and up on here. On the morale, that's not too bad. I like that, let's do that. Place that. I don't need to roll because there's so many there. He's going to come across here. I'm going to go onto this one, which moves me up one on the morale track. Um, he's moved, he comes out. Ah, he goes here. Oh, sorry, I should have discarded him. He should come back asleep. See me. He goes asleep as well. So I recruit someone. I'm tempted to go for, yeah, an administrator because I can get a VP for that. He comes in awake. One, two, three, four, five. I'll change those into five. A nice stack of fives, that's what I like to see. So I've done that blink. I can't blink anymore. I can't place anything else in there. I could place one of these guys in here. And in fact, I may as well do that because then I can do that action. I can't do that because I've got the water, but I don't need to because I've got the flames. That's done to the max. Uh, I don't have two to do that anyway. So I think that is me done for the round. Okay, that's the end of that round. We're into the last round because there's still collapsing capital tiles left. So I will set up for the next round. So here we are at the final fifth era. Once again, it's the bot to start because he's always starting. Where did I put the flux time? There it is. So let's see, he gets a four. Oh yes, by the way, he powered up four exosuits this turn. He was rolling in um, energy cores, and he also gained um, an uh, uh, anomaly. That's the word. So he's going to do a lab construction. So he can't go to either of these spaces. They've both gone. He has to go here. Let's do a lab. He gets that one, but he can't because he already has three. So he places the exosuit, but he gets a failed result, which is one vip. There we go. So my first thing, I had a plan here. But it involves me being able to build. And I'm hoping he doesn't take this spot here, which would be really bad for me. But at the minimum, I'm going to need to have resources to build. I can build this straight off. I'm tempted to do that now, actually. Now he's taken the spot. I will. I'll do that. I'm going to put my genius in. Oh, no, that's... I need... Two, I need one water to go there. This needs two. That's not going to work. Let's rethink that. I can go here, but I will spend the gold to do that. Looks like I'm going to have to go to the mines. Um, no, I'll tell you what. I'll go there and spend the gold. Gets me five water. And a victory point. And then... Um, and the next turn I can then wake up my people. Let's go with that. So he's going to do three. It's a value right. So he will. Second turn he might blink, but he hasn't got any blink. Any flux tokens here, but he still draws the blank. And he's going to get. He gets all of that. So he gets two flux, two energy cores. Energy cores that he's not going to use anyway gets them. That's his turn. Um, I could have really done with those flux. That's really annoying. But I will deal with that when I need to. So I'm going to put him here. I'm going to spend my seven water to wake everyone up. Boop. Generates me two VP. Gives me a very large workforce. Who are very thirsty now because they've drunk all the water. So he's got a five. He's going to do some research. Uh, is he going to blink? Let's see. Yes, he is. 
So that's anyone who can blink. He does that, that comes out. He doesn't get the bonus. And he gets a circle. He loves them circles. Three circles. What are the chances of that? So I know how dice work for, but I have no water, so I have to send someone off to get water. She's going off to get water, I get full water for that. This is a risk now that I'm he's gonna take. Uh, but he's vacated that spot now, so I can actually do that. So let's see. I have three. Yeah, he's gonna construct a super project. Uh, he can't blink, so he's going to go there to the build. And he has to discard one of these. And then he picks the highest VP one. There are three of the same VP. He takes the oldest. That's his second super project. What am I going to do? I want to do the build, but I haven't got the resources. So I'm going to have to go and get some resources. So I'm going to go to the mine, get some... Now I don't necessarily need that, I need the gold, I know only that, including this one. I've got the water, I've got the titanium. I might just as well get neutronium, because that's always useful, especially if I happen to change my mind and go for that one instead or something. Okay, let's see what he does. It's a fire, so he wants to recruit. I'll move the token around. So a recruit, let's see if he blinks. No, he doesn't. So a recruit, he goes in the final recruit spot, and he gets an administrator. He finally gets an administrator, but he hasn't got a scientist now, so he doesn't get a bonus. But there we go. Um, now, what am I going to do? I want to do the build. I want to build a building, so I'm going to do my flux. Jump my engineer to here. Pay my one water. I have enough to build this, and that's worth most VP, so I'm going to get that. So that cost me neutronium, gold, and two titanium, but as I placed an engineer, I get a discount, and two water. Let me do the resources first. There we go. The water goes away. There we go, three points. And then he goes, he wants to do a five as well. So let's first see if he can, if he wants to, he's run out of exosuits. Is he going to do it? Yes, he is. Okay, he's going to blink. So, um, he wants, oh, this doesn't involve a blink. Very silly of me. This is a non exosuit action. He just gets a flux and an energy core for that. So he's rolling an energy core. Okay, I spent my resources. There's not a lot left. I can practically do to get points. Uh, let me think what I could do. Oh, he blinks, so he's the engineer comes out to sleep. Um, I can't do this because I haven't got any to move up. I don't need to do that, it's not going to cost me any money, although I could do that for free anyway. Um, can time travel. If I get more resources I can time travel and get some points. Let's do that. So let's send, send my, I'll send my engineer out to here. He's going to get two resources. He's one of three. Just remove an anomaly. He can afford to do that. So you remove that. Back on the stack. And that goes away into the pile. Um, I have got my two, but if I get two more, I'll be able to get even further back and more points. So I might try and blink my scientist down to there. Yeah, but I already, I've got no flux, so I can't do that. That was bad timing, so I could. No, I can't, so I was thinking I could blink my scientist over to the to this board, but, I, but he's got, he's blocked the space, so I'll have to pay water for that. So I think that'll be the best I can do. So I'm going to send a genius there. Spend two resources. Two in time to do nothing. But it doesn't mean I get two VPs for it. Which can't be too bad. So he wants to do a three, which constructs over this is 
a board action, he'll have to blink. We know he drew a, blink, a blur flux last time, so he does that. So he can't look for life support because it's full up. He can't move onto the space because there's nowhere to blink to here to construct, there's nowhere to blink here. So actually, he doesn't draw flux. I'm being silly there. It's a failed action because he can't physically do it. Um, it might be the case that he passes at this point. I can't entirely remember. Let me have a quick check of the rules while you go have a nice look at the... There you go. Have a look at the minis while I'm reading the rules quickly. Um, does the Chronobot have an exosuit or at least one token? Yes, he does. Does it require an exosuit? Yes, it does. Is there a legal blink? No, there isn't. Does he have an exosuit? No, he passes. So he does. He passes. He doesn't get that point. He has passed. So that's him done. All down to me now. What can I do that will get me points? Now I could, if I had flux, I could do a free action here to place two flux onto here to then recall some workers or some free actions. I'll recall these so I can then. So I can't take them off here though. I can't take them off the buildings. So that wouldn't be any use anyway. Um, I can't trigger that again to get points from that. Um, I have no flux, so I can't go into here to then get an upgrade, which might be worth some points. Um, so there's nothing really I can do to get any more points now, but just for fun. Let's fire this engine up just for fun. There we go. Get two gold. And oh, I can't do the water because I'm not a genius. Actually, I won't do that. I'll tell you why, because water is a tiebreaker. As the bot has no water, I would win the tiebreaker, as long as I have one water. Um, I could go here to go back to, but there's no point because I have no points to get for that. So I will stop there. So that's the end of the game. I'm now going to uh, do some clear up and then I will do the final scores. So that's the final tally for the Chronosis, all of his bits. This is my final tally, all of my bits. And let's have a look at the scores, shall we? So I got eight for buildings, pretty poor. He got 29, yeah, he does well with that. I did no super projects, he got 14 for that. Neither of us had any anomalies. Time travel was quite close to match, four to six. Morale, I got six, he doesn't get morale, so he loses on that. I had no breakthroughs left over because those don't count as breakthroughs. Uh, he had two circles left, so he gets two points. I had 35 in VP chips, which is pretty good. That caught me up nicely. And he had 13, so not too far behind. Uh, I have no um, warp tiles left. He doesn't lose any for warp tiles. I got seven points for fully upgrading my flux track. He doesn't do that, but he got three points for his upgrade, and I got none for mine. So final tally was he beat me 67 to 60. That Chronosus is a beast. Well, I hope you enjoyed the run through, and I hope that you back the Fractal Time expansion on Kickstarter. Thanks very much.